With all that happened in sumo offices today, we almost forgot there was action on the dokyo. Urged to get his hands dirty by his ex-coach, and we presume his present one, Asanoyama, refreshed by a visit to his native Toyama, responded by pummeling Ozeki rival Shodai in the first interstable session of April. In a 23-minute sparring session held after winner stays on, the men who fought the last bout of March fought 15 more, with Asanoyama winning 12. The Tachiais were pretty even with both men landing inside rights, but Asanoyama impressed once adding an outside left, completing force outs, overarm throws, and even a scoop. As the only salaried man at his Takasago stable, Asanayama was grateful to face someone at his level for a change, saying, It's been ages since I've gone up against salaried guys. I wanted to get through with no injuries, and therefore took care over my encroachment and outside left. Surrounded by Mitake Umi, Onosho, Meisei, Ichinojo, and Wakataka Kage, he noted, There are lots of styles to go up against, so I guess I'll be calling people out. Ideally, he'd like to be scoring points off Tedonofuji and Takakesho, but, just as last time, neither man seems keen on coming. They were both absent today. Battered Shodai, meanwhile, at least met his goal of holding Tachi Ai ground, but was saddened by the stack of one-sided defeats. My legs just didn't follow up after initial impact, and my movement was stopped, so I want to put that right, he said. I know my rank is under threat now, but there's no point in overthinking. I'll just do what I can for the moment, and we'll be looking to fight potential opponents in May. General dwindling interest in these sessions has seen their number cut from 6 to 4, all of which Shodai plans to attend. In the stable, it seems, only lower-level foes can face him, Yutakayama presumably still not over his latest knock. Tedono Fuji, as I mentioned, has been training with the rich array of partners at his stable, and today revealed a unique source of inspiration – a documentary on a one-armed amateur sumo wrestler. When you see him fighting so hard with that handicap, it makes you feel you can fight that hard too," explained the multiple injury victim. Tedu insists the knee hurt against Shimanoomi is good, and on the question of successive titles adds, I won't be pinned down by fixed targets, I'll just keep giving everything. Remember, he's never won the crown as an Ozeki. In other news, Division 2 stalwart Azuma Ryu, about the only man at Tamanoi not to catch Covid last summer, has now tested positive. He seemingly took the test after showing fever-like symptoms this morning, Monday, and is currently self-isolating with a view to checking into hospital as a precaution. That's the fifth sumo case in recent days. Further to the two at Michinoku stable, two wrestlers from two unnamed stables tested positive, one of them while on a visit to his hometown. We wish all those men a speedy recovery. And finally, two more snippets on Tokitsukaze stable. Shodai may not hold the Olympic torch this time, but his coach Izutsu just has on the leg of the relay held in his native Kochi prefecture. Izutsu cheekily compared the torch's weight to that of the sword he held in his Toyonoshima days when acting as Hakuho's sword bearer. And the two sons of the ex-master, Hidokazu and Shoma, have, in the wake of their father's cringeworthy exit, opted for sumo distance and elected not to join Tokitsukaze. They will instead ply their trade with Meisei and friends at Tatsunami. More training reports coming tomorrow. See you then.